Welcome to the UW family and to the Husky Hello podcast. I'm Jana Marsh from the Office of Parent and Family Programs. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. My name is Carlos Guillen, and I am from First Year Programs. We are really excited to be chatting with you today. Yes, this is our first time in the podcast, so, uh, but not our first time working together. We've been working together almost three years. Absolutely. So today we are going to be giving you some really good information about, um, we're going to do some introductions of ourselves so you kind of know who we are as the hosts of the podcast. And then also we are professional staff at the University of Washington with uh, a couple different offices. Um, and so we're going to give you an overview of what our offices are um, and the different programs that we offer through through our offices. Well, we're very excited to introduce these um, all these campus partners because we're really at the forefront. We meet most of our parents and families, um, especially here in the beginning. So I am the director of parent and family programs. I'm Jana Marish. I'm a first generation of college in the United States. I was born in the Philippines. And basically I found myself in Seattle because and we moved from because we moved from Los Angeles. And while I was there, I've actually worked with many parents and families across uh, UCLA, Harvey Mudd, and Caltech. So uh, small, medium, and super large <laughs> uh, universities and colleges. So I'm excited to be part of this UW family, and I'm excited to have uh, Carlos as, as my partner. Definitely excited to be here as well. So everyone, my name is Carlos Guillen. Um, I am the Associate Director of First Year Programs here at the University of Washington. Um, and I've been at the University of Washington for six years. Um, and so all in this role, working with first year students, working um, with transition programs and, and really um, uh, along with my team in first year programs, we offer a lot of different um, a lot of different programs for first year students. But a little bit about me: I grew up in New Mexico, um, and so if anybody has ever traveled to the state of New Mexico, um, I love that place. Um, I went to undergrad at the University of New Mexico, and then grad school at Colorado State University, um, and made my way to the University of Washington by way of Philadelphia. So I, I had my start in my career in Philly working at uh, an institution called Drexel University, um, so an institution about half the size of UW, um, and then made my way to, to Seattle um, and have been working with, um, with first year programs for, for six years. So have definitely seen a lot of changes happen on, happen on campus, um, and especially now with the pandemic, right, being able to um, kind of shift some programs online and now looking forward to the fall as we start to come back together on campus as well. So um, that's definitely that's definitely um, a big thing on our minds as well. And through this podcast, we'll hopefully be giving you some really good updates about what to expect while um, we start to move back to campus. Um, I know that we have in first year programs, uh, parent and family programs is a huge partner in our in our, our work because our our office works specifically with first year students. And then we partner with Jana's office um, to really bring in the family element. Um, and so I know Jana, parent and family programs has been around for about six years at this point, right? Yes, it's. Uh, to me, it's a very um, it's at it's gone to its adolescence because it did start in 2014, and at the time, it just it was just about having the parent and family weekend party, <laughs> and I think that was the launch of trying to figure out well how do we um, encourage welcome all of our parents and families into having their own husky experience as carlos mentioned we've been working with lots of different families he's gone east coast west coast i've clearly just stayed in the west coast but there are some core things that that we wanted to do to make sure that our families feel welcomed and a big part of that is really expanding that definition of parent and to into that definition of family when we see our families now we have blended families uh, grandparents as main guardians and main families aunts and uncles as support families and 
wanting to have not just mom and dad feel welcomed with this program, but mom, dad, aunts, uncles, <laughs> grandpa, grandparents, and siblings. So we, we wanted that to be, um, to be reflective of our UW community, our students, and how their families come to cheer them on. It's very. Uh, it's been a really great way to see um, how that has progressed over the course of time that that this program has started. It started just from a weekend, and now it's actually gone into Parent and Family Weekend. There's a b- Winter Basketball <laughs> Family Weekend, wel- welcoming events like Convocation and Move In Weekend, and also. Um, being there with you guys when when it's time for commencement, you know that's how family prayer and family weekend has really not just it's not just about one thing. It's about being there in the celebratory aspects of all of these really wonderful milestones. And we've obviously gone beyond the web. <laughs> we've obviously have our e newsletter. Um, we've gone into social media, and we've actually um, you know pre pandemic. I've actually had a chance to host summer send-offs and welcome our families. And now uh, family orientation is such an integral part of this program as well. And we're as we have really de- redefined parents and families, we've also kind of had to redefine and rethink the way that we commu- communicate and connect with you. And that's why we work um, so hand-in-hand with Carlos and first-year programs. And those camp- campus partnerships have really evolved beyond just events. It's really about making sure that everybody is behind all of the success for your students. Um, so I actually wanted to invite Carlos to talk about how we do that from the start, which is what first year programs does. Yeah, there these campus partnerships are really kind of the ways that we are able to get you, the the parents and families of first year students, information um, that is most up to date. Um, and so we've done a lot of really good outreach to different departments across campus to really get up to date on their processes, on their deadlines, and on some of their suggestions and tips on how to be um, the most supportive of your student as they make this transition. Um, and so through first year programs, we do that in several different pro- several different types of programs. Um, the first of which many of you probably are already familiar with is our advising and orientation program. And so that is really where our first year students get a really good overview of the Husky experience. This is where they register for classes, they learn about campus resources, and then they also start to build their network. So we put them in small groups with orientation leaders who are current students to give them some really good advice. And then they also do a lot of kind of group activities where they're starting to build uh, build uh, connections with other first year students um, who might come from similar backgrounds or have similar goals. Um, And so we really believe in first year programs um, and here at the University of Washington that the secret to success is finding that smaller community. You've probably heard this time and time again as you've been um, attending different types of workshops and all of that, but um, it really starts with advising and orientation. And so um, another program that first year programs host is Dog Days, which is our welcome week. Um, And so this year we are expecting a at least a partially in-person program um, where small events will be able to uh, be hosted in person. We'll likely do a lot of tours of campus, um, do some tours of Seattle where students are able to explore the different neighborhoods. We'll also have large events like we normally do. These will probably likely mostly be online. Um, But uh, one thing I really love about Dog Days is that we're able to um, provide some academic, some smaller type of workshops, as well as these larger like community uh, development type things. So if your student is more of a reserved student, um, they'll definitely find um, their place uh, during Dog Days because we have different types of events, um, different types of ways for students to meet each other. And then finally, the third thing that we do through um, through first year programs is the first year interest group program. So this is a, a freshman seminar program that's uh, available to both freshman students and to transfer students um, where students are able to Uh, register for a small class. Um, And this class is facilitated by another student, um, an upper division student who 
basically is able to give them some really good overview of the U, of the UW. Um, the FIG program has been in existence for over 30 years, and we've done some really good studies on the on the FIG program where we have found that students who register for a FIG are more likely to graduate. They're more likely to return to uh, school for their second year, and they actually also have higher GPAs. So um, really good program that builds small communities, small classes, um, and this year we are hoping that our FIG program will um, be facilitated in person because of those small classes. Um, as long as we're able to safely, as long as we're able to safely have those uh, in person, we will we will definitely do it. Yeah, that sounds really great. And Carlos, um, you know we work together with family orientation. So while all of the, and also um, this really wonderful event called Convocation, it's, it's not quite, it sounds like commencement, but it's a little bit different. And it's its, it's own celebration of this first, um, this first year class together. Um, and you have a lot, it, it's a very nice and convening um, um, event that kind of helps set the tone and it makes you feel like you are truly officially a husky um, and that's part of how we also welcome our students and also welcome our families um, the like who knew that in a place as big and as expansive as the University of Washington, you would have these wonderful things called first year interest groups. I wish I had that when I went to school because I think that would be really been really helpful. And I think it's such a great way for no matter where your student is on um, how they feel comfortable meeting new people when it comes to just downloading what is this experience going to be like. It's always wonderful to have a fellow Husky who's got about a year or two ahead of them just to ask these really wonderful questions. And I've seen what that looks like. It's There's an aha moment, there's a connection moment, and there's a, my favorite thing, I think this is my first friend moment <laughs> that I make uh, during... Um, during uh, this, during figs. Also, we know that we're doing this uh, remotely. It's been both challenging, but also a really wonderful challenge to step up. It is great for us to be able to try to reach different types of students and different types of families. Um, and we really enjoyed how we've evolved into having a hybridized a thought process of how we encourage families and students to meet in person safely, <laughs> but also that there's this connection um, that's easily accessible um, online. And uh, Carlos, when you were first working, <laughs> uh, what was this like? Uh, I, I forgot to ask where your first parent and family program was and how that's kind of evolved for you and that work that you're doing with new students and new families. Oh, sure. Well, you know, I got my my start in higher ed actually working in, in housing. So I, I managed a residence hall at my first institution. Oh, wow. And so it was a first year residence hall. I was a live in, a live -in hall director. Um, and so would manage a lot of crises on campus and, and all of that. But my, my uh, kind of entry point into first year uh, programs and, and family programs was, um, was yeah, planning orientation and planning family weekend. Um, when I got to the University of Washington, what was really great about, um, about it is that like, like what you mentioned, right? Like it's a, it's a huge institution, which gives students a lot of really great opportunities in terms of networking and support. But like the, the emphasis was on those smaller communities, right? The emphasis was on how do you build those smaller communities? And I think that continues even now, especially through the pandemic, right? Where we are needing to kind of focus on those smaller communities anyway. And so um, in terms of like advice for, for parents and families as, as you all support your students, right? Um, being able to, to ask questions about how your student might find those smaller communities, right? Is it a matter of joining a, a student organization? Is it a matter of joining something that is already already built in? One thing that I like to think about in terms of finding a community at the University of Washington is that you have these opportunities that are already built in, right? So you can join a FIG, you can, you know, many students might join the, the marching band or, you know, things like that. Um, they might already join a program, right? So many, many of your students may have been directly admitted to their, their major 
major or, or different things like that to where they already have a community. Living on campus is another option that is kind of like a ready-built community. You have roommates, you have hallmates that kind of build that in. However, other students, right, who might not be able to live on campus or get that involved, you know, it just might take a little bit more uh, kind of work in terms of reaching out to build study groups in your classes or um, maybe joining a student organization or getting a job on campus. I feel like that is also a really great way to find community. So I think, you know, the emphasis as, as we've evolved and as a lot of things have changed, I feel like that emphasis on building that smaller community and finding that support system is really important. Um, in terms of like, Jenna, I know that you have, you, you know, for, for parents who may have already emailed the, the university asking questions or anything, you know, Jenna is actually the, the, the person behind those emails. And so I'm wondering, you know, what sort of what sort of concerns are parents and families having at this time of the year? You know, right now we're toward the beginning, um, you know, we're at the end of the spring, we're toward the beginning of the summer. Um, what are some of those concerns? Because I'm really curious as to that. Well, uh, so I would actually like to say that more of it is very congratulatory, like, oh, my gosh, my. Uh, my my husky or my student is going to be a husky and it's before the May 1st <laughs> deadline. And, uh, you know, it, it's like, tell me what to sign up for. Tell me all the deadlines. Tell me all of the things. And I am always very excited and return the energy that I am given. <laughs> um, not just via the emails, but also through Facebook, also through Instagram. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, those are the things and those are the channels of communications that I receive all of this wonderful UW parent and family love, um, especially in the excitement of the beginning. And I, of course, I'm happy to share the academic calendar, the deadlines. There's a wonderful uh, website called New Huskies 2021. It is all of the things that every hyper prepared, <laughs> super eager Husky parent <laughs> wants to have. Um, but I also ask them to take the time to just really enjoy the summer, enjoy this summer with their student. It also um, allows me to 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 welcome them in a way that say, uh, you know, this finite amount of time where there is this excitement, the decision is done, and now it's just a summer before orientation. It's really about a summer of just really enjoying their time with each other because their husky is going to go into this really interesting adventure that they're going to have to watch. Um, and you too are going through a, your own adventure. So there's, there's that aspect of it. And then there's the aspect of a lot of what is going to happen for aut autumn, what is going to happen for fall. And I would love to be able to say, here's my purple crystal ball <laughs> and, and share that with you. But I, what I can say is, that the entire university's energy is to make sure that autumn is as, as successful as it is for every single Husky that we're going to be welcoming in. Um, and that includes, please be, please come and participate in, in, in family orientation. Please join, you know, join our Facebook group that is solely for our first year families. Um, please sign up for all of our newsletters and take lots of photos, share them with us, and also start having conversations about these really wonderful and new experiences that your student might want to do. You know, they might have been really super into anime, <laughs> math, science in, uh, in high school. Maybe there's something a little different about that and that they'd like to try out. And there is Anything you want to try out, there is a thousand registered student organizations. And the most wonderful part is if you can't find it, you can start your own. Um, and those are wonderful things to talk about, talk about the interesting parts of it, where there literally is a campus partner, a campus resource for anything and everything that your student will need. And that is the strength <laughs> of, a, of a university um, with the size and stature of the University of Washington. And I, yeah, and I also have to say, yeah, it's yeah. just um, Carlos and I are used to <laughs> these big, big schools. And I really, I mean, I went to UCLA. That is about as big as you can get as well. Um, 
And we just really are um, enamored by the amount of thoughtfulness that our entire university is really working towards making sure that happens for not just our first year students, our second year students, our juniors and our seniors. Absolutely. And Jenna, you brought up a couple of things. You mentioned the family orientation program. And so for those of you who might have um, not heard about it, um, more information will be uh, is available on fyp.washington.edu slash families. And that will give you more information about the family orientation program. Jenna mentioned several different opportunities to join a Facebook discussion group. Uh, these webinars are part of that, as well as newsletters. You probably even heard of this this podcast through the newsletter because we're 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 pretty much cross posting on all of the different channels right so you'll be able to to tune into live webinars that we'll have throughout the the summer as well to learn a little bit more details um, about different topics um, one thing to think about in terms of uh, registering for family orientation is that your student actually has to um, add you to their registration so if at any point you you are able to chat with your student and uh, have them add Add your name so you can get access to all of these resources throughout the year. I think that's a good reversal. Um, you know, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunts and uncles always signing up students for things. Now they got to do that for you. You have to, <laughs> they have to do it for you. They have to sign up for, um, put you on the invite list, <laughs> so, so to speak, which is very exciting. And a new way for them to say and to express some autonomy about, inviting them into their their new space this new adventure this new um this new milestone in their young adult life <laughs> i would like to have people my mom and dad just sign me up for everything that's helpful for myself but i do find it very helpful to say ah this is our relationship now i am signing my family up for this because i would like to welcome them into my university of washington experience i think that's great and as we look forward into future episodes of this podcast, we'll really be kind of going over a lot of different trends that we're noticing in, at the University of Washington. Um, you know, Jenna, I shared with you um, uh, an infographic, and we can make this available um, through the Facebook page as well, but four concerns of college students during COVID-19. And those those concerns that this, this is a, a national study um, that was uh, published by Sky Factor, which is a, a student um, a student survey uh, company, um, and they've put together a, a list of four major concerns that college students have during COVID nineteen, um, and so they go over money concerns, technology concerns, health and life, as well as the use of campus services. Because right now, right with with many offices still operating remotely, um, things are still a little bit un, uh, unclear as to what what's happening. So hopefully through this podcast, we're going to be utilizing resources like this to really um, determine what topics to, to bring up. Um, but if you have topics that you want us to talk about, please reach out to us, um, whether it's through the Facebook group, through email, um, or um, through any of our other communication channels, um, and give us, give us some ideas as to what you'd like us to talk about, and we can definitely incorporate it into future episodes. Oh, yes. Uh, please email UWParent at UW.edu and put on the subject line, Husky Huddle Up podcast episode idea. And, <laughs> and then we'll try, to, um, we'll try to incorporate that throughout our series. Um, and I, I just wanted to mention, I'm taking a look at this really great infographic um, about money concerns, technology concerns, health and life concerns, use of campus services. And it looks like they've tapped into the brains of all of our campus partners, Carlos, right? Um, technology, it just feels like technology concerns was a very big thing that, if, that um, our student tech loan, we, if you did not have a laptop before coming <laughs> to the UW, um, we will lend it to you for free. Our, our fellow students will be able to um, lend you, if you're PC folk, your PCs, Macs, uh, you can borrow all sorts of, um, anything that has to do with technology, iPads, touch screen, anything like that is free to your student and we're able to loan them and loan them throughout the year, which is amazing. Um, there's also student emergency funds. If 
if you needed upgrade internet access and that was not part of the financial plan that you had this year, students were able to to get emergency funds in order to upgrade their their internet plans. If they're if they needed more food, they needed just a little bit of help. That was something that we worked on, and I and the use of campus services. Everyone was rushing to make sure that our students knew that we were on <laughs> everything from advising, from financial aid, our tutoring. We all had to pivot, um, and we all did it really collectively to make sure that our our students were aware that everybody is just trying to do their very, very best to make sure that they're as accessible as possible. We've even, you know, I really appreciate our our ideas of having to upgrade our PDFs so that it's accessible for all of our students um, to make it easier to read, and easier to scan. It's it's a lot of things that have that is really hard to kind of put in a very long email, but we were at least able to share that here through your through the podcast series and talk about these really wonderful resources and programs um, that are here to make sure that your students are successful. It's such a great thank you. Thanks for sharing that, Carlos. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have so one one thing that we have been um, working on within first year programs. Um, we we definitely uh, try to try to do a lot of surveys and, and to really understand the first year experience. And um, we uh, participated in a mapping project where we really were able to conduct surveys of students, of faculty and staff across the University of Washington to understand what that first year looks like. And we're able to figure out some sort of way to, um, some sort of way to, to highlight the, the different experiences that students have. Um, and so one thing that we found out of this, out of this um, study was what are some of the most positive experiences that students have and what are some of the most challenging experiences that students have and so from this project we realized that the highlights of a student's first year is really a matter of building a community you know making friends meeting new people but also taking very interesting classes and 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 building connections with professors um, and then when we looked at the challenging aspects of the first year experience students really um, had challenges um, with making that transition into college level learning, right? So that first exam, um, if they get a bad grade or if they do a little bit worse than what they were expecting, that that was actually a very challenging aspect of, of realizing, okay, I need to be able to maybe adjust my study habits or I need to be able to adjust the way that I'm approaching a class um, and in order to, to build those those connections. Um, and so so again, right, we're, we're hoping to kind of utilize a lot of this data to bring on some guests speakers and some some other uh, other colleagues from across campus to really um, dive deep into some of these issues so that you as a family member um, can support your student in their transition um, the more information the better right we we really want we really do recognize that you know with the pandemic a lot of things have shifted and we want to make sure that you get the most up-to-date information um, about resources that are available on campus and, and different ways that students and family members can access those resources and so those are some of the goals that we have for you over the next few weeks as we um as we introduce some some of these uh of this of these topics to you yeah that's great and there will not be a test um once we share all of this data it's okay do not panic about that but um, we do want to mention that all of these things will be shared um on our facebook page we'll also be sharing it on our parent page and and we and I, would, I really want to make sure that um, all of our parents know that this really great data that has really been kind of honed and crafted um, in-house and within U UW, it's also helping us really figure out how that second year, that first to second year transition is going to have to happen. We're, we have a second year and a third year of students that maybe they haven't even really been back to campus, but this and this information has really helped inform how we are going to re-engage how as an entire campus how our, our second year and our third year students as they come back um to autumn and with that i think um i think i'm looking forward to our next new episode 
What about Me you? Me too. Carlos? Absolutely. I feel I feel really excited about um, about this podcast series. Um, we really just want to thank you all for joining us and, and hope that you tune in for our, our next episode where we'll dive a little bit deeper into the first year experience um, in terms of what to expect. Um, throughout the summer, we'll be highlighting questions to ask your student, um, different uh, deadlines that might be coming up, um, as well as uh, really kind of just breaking it down so that you know, so that you are starting in the most confident and successful way possible. So. Thank you all for, for, for listening in. Thank you. This is Jenna Marsh from the Office of Parent and Family Programs. And I'm Carlos Guillen from First Year Programs. We'll see you next time. The Husky Huddle Up series is a collaboration between the University of Washington First Year Programs and Parent and Family Programs to provide parents and families equitable access to information in support of their student success. The Husky Huddle Up is produced by John In, a senior in the UW Foster School of Business.